welcome back everybody. Today we'll be going over how to get the duffel bag on any outfit on Grand Theft Auto Online. Just do note, for this glitch, you will need a terabyte as we're going to have to start up a mission inside the terabyte itself. Now let's go ahead and begin this glitch. First thing you're going to want to do is have the outfit equipped that you want the duffel bag on. Once you have that all done and you have the terabyte, go ahead and enter it. Once inside, go to the touchscreen panel on the left hand side, open it up, and go to the client jobs in the upper left hand corner. We're going to start up the robbery in progress mission. Now, all you have to do is continue the entire mission all the way up until you get to the bank robbers part where you kill the bank robbers and pick up the duffel bag. Now once you kill the final bank robber in the vault and pick up the duffel bag, all you have to do now is lose the cops just as the mission requires you to do. I recommend using a helicopter for this entire mission, escaping in one, as you can only gain up to two stars while in this mission, so it's super easy to lose the cops, as well as we'll have to use a helicopter or some sort of thing that will allow us to parachute for the glitch itself. Now if you don't have a helicopter or like an impressor or MK2, whatever, you can open up your phone, go to your contacts and go to Meriwether. You can call them and you can call for a pickup helicopter. Now once you finally lose the cops, it'll ask you to deliver the goods to a drop off zone. All you have to do is fly on over to that location. If you're in a Meriwether helicopter, you can pinpoint a waypoint on your map and it'll fly over top of it. When you get to the zone, don't step into it. Instead, we're going to parachute into it off of our helicopters or our oppressors. If you mess up multiple times like I did and I suck at parachuting, just call in another helicopter or get your mechanic to drive your oppressor over to you. That way you can keep on attempting it until you get it. Now also do note your drop off location may be different than mine. Some of them are extremely tight in little alleyways so it might take you a couple tries to get it. Now as you can see here, as I complete it, I completely eat shit while I attempt to land into the zone. If that happens to you and you don't get a perfect roll, that's okay. You can still do the glitch. The next step is to not die and get over to ammunition safely. Once you're at ammunition, go in inside and go up to the weapons section at the front desk. Go up to the upper left hand corner to the parachute and go on to parachute bags. Scroll halfway down to the Israel parachute bag. Purchase this parachute bag. Once you purchase it, you can back on out, open up your menu and go to styles. Go down to parachute and then turn your parachute on. Make sure you have the Israel shoot bag equipped. Once you do, you can head on down to the mask store along the beach. Now we're going to do the same exact thing that we did when we dropped off the duffel bag at the drop off point. We're going to jump off the oppressors or our helicopters and parachute to the mask store itself. Now once we land in front of the mask store, as our guys taking off the parachute, we're going to spam right on the d-pad to open up the menu to buy some masks. If you did it correctly, you'll see the duffel bag pop up just as you enter the store. From here, all you need to do is just save the outfit. Now when you save the outfit, make sure you save the outfit under a name that you want it to be for the rest of the time that you want the outfit, because you cannot edit and change the name of the outfit once you have it. Now after you save it, you can back on out and if the duffel bag is not equipped, all you have to do is open up your menu, go down the styles, and equip that outfit. You'll see the duffel bag reappear, and now you have the duffel bag on that outfit. Do note though that I ran into an issue where the outfit itself disappeared, so what I had did to permanently save the outfit was start up a headhunter mission, or do something that earns you a little bit of money, so that way you can make sure the outfit saves itself. I quickly killed all the VIPs, and I was able to sign out and sign back in, the outfit was still in my inventory. Also another thing you have to know is once you equip the duffel bag outfit, you can't unequip it. So if you want to change outfits, you'll have to die or kill yourself in the game. Once you respawn, you won't have the duffel bag on anymore. And if you want to re-equip the outfit, you can. But from here, you can change outfits once again. Now I'm going to quickly do an outfit guide on the outfit that I was using in this tutorial for everyone who wants to create this exact outfit. So starting out at the top section under utility tops, we're going to go down and equip the black combat top. 
Now over at the pants section under the arena war pants at the bottom, we are going to go to the black raider pants. Now over at the hats section under the riot helmets tab, we're going to go to the LSPD riot. Next, let's go over to the accessories section and under the scarves section, equip and purchase the black desert scarf. Next, at the gloves tab at the very bottom of the list, we'll be using the black tactical gloves. Now back on out, open up your menu and go to the inventory section. Go to body armor and scroll down to show armor and turn on the standard armor. Make sure auto show armor is on. If you don't have any armor, you can go to ammunition and purchase it along the left hand side of the wall. Now for the shoes section, under the Arena War shoes, equip the dark brown raider boots. Now from here, all we're going to do is save the outfit as a temporary save. Next, hop on over to the mask store located alongside the beach, go to the ski masks tab and purchase and equip the black tight ski. Once again from here, save the outfit again. As for the duty belt on this outfit, I'll leave a link in the description of a video tutorial I just made recently on how to get the duty belt and or a vest on any outfit. If you want the belt on and once you have the belt on, all you have to do then is the duffel bag glitch and you'll have the entire outfit complete. That's all for this video guys, I hope I helped you get the duffel bag and creating this outfit. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, I'll try to help you guys as always. My name is Muffly. And I'll see you badasses out in Los Santos.